Hello everyone, I'm Tina, and today I'll be performing Sister Mary Ignatius Explain It All for You. Are you ever sorry you became a nun? Um, I'm never sorry I became a nun. It used to be a mortal sin to eat meat on Fridays, but now it isn't. Does that mean that people who ate meat on Fridays back, in, back when it was mortal sin are in hell? Or what? People who ate meat on Fridays are indeed in hell if they did not confess the sin before they die. Well, um, if they confessed it, they are not in hell unless they did not confess all the mortal sin they committed. But actually, people who would eat meat on Fridays in the 50s are tended to be the sort who would commit other sins. So, on a guess, I bet many of them are in hell even if they did confess the eating of meat. What exactly went on with Sodom? Who asked me this question? Okay, I'm going to talk about Sodom's a bit. Well, it is where they, uh, they committed acts of homosexuality and bestiality in the Old Testament, and God, infuriated by this, sweeped them all in one fell swoop. Well, modern state Sodom's are Los Angeles, San Francisco, Amsterdam, and San Francisco or Amsterdam, or Los Angeles, well, basically anywhere where the population is over 50,000. But God, why has God not destroyed them all? Because Catholic nuns and priests live in these cities, and God does not wish to destroy them. Well, but he did, however, give them body lice and hepatitis. It's so hard to know why God well, allowed wickedness to flourish, Mm, I guess it's because God wants man to choose goodness freely of his own free will, but sometimes one wonders why, you know, um, he, he may wonder why if uh, goodness is worth all the troubles, if there is going to be so much evil and unhappiness, but God knows best, presumably. But it would, if it were up to me, I would tempt it to swat down this cities and civilization, but luckily for New York and Amsterdam, I'm a god. <laughs> Tell us some more about your family. Well, I have 26 brothers and sisters. Well, five of them became priests, um, seven of them became nuns, and three of them became brothers. Well, the rest of them were all institutionalized. My mother was institutionalized shortly after she started thinking my father was a Satan. But uh, back when in our little times, we would come home and not be able to find our mom, then we'd pray to St. Anthony to help us find her. Then when we found her with her head in the oven, we prayed to St. Jude to make her sin again. So, are all our prayers answered? Yes, yes, they are. Well, people who ask this question often don't realize that sometimes the answers to our prayers is no. But, Dear God, please make my mother not crazy. God's answer, no. Dear God, please let me recover from cancer. God's answer, no. Dear God, please take away this toothache. God's answer. All right, but you're going to be run over by a car. But bad things <laughs> happen to us, and God has special reason for it. You know, even if God, and He is a good shepherd, and we are all His flock, even if God is grouchy or busy with more important stuff, His beloved Mother Mary is always there to intercede for us. Now, I shall sing the Hail Mary in Latin. Thank you. Thank you.